Um, so general wireless implementation steps. Um, first of all, ensure that you have hardwire operation first. You know, there's a there's a lot of little uh, pieces to wireless and making it work, especially when you get into the the security portion and authentication and everything. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your normal uh, network works uh, with just like a, a, a PC connected directly to a switch port. Once you've done that, <coughs> test the access point in a verified switch port. Um, some access points require a crossover cable, but others require straight through. So make sure you got the right equipment or the right cabling uh, between your equipment and the switch. Uh, once you've verified that, configure a basic wireless network and test. Uh, so usually just an SSID with no security. Um, if, uh, if all of that works, you're able to connect on wireless with just the, the very basic settings, then at that point uh, you can try to add wireless security and test. Um, it's generally best even then to start with, uh, with a, a simple like pre-shared key method and test before adding authentication. So if you do it in this step, these steps, you're just adding little pieces on a, at a time, whereas if you try to just deploy everything all at one time, it's, it's difficult to isolate what the problem is if it doesn't work. If it works, great, but if there's a problem, you basically have to go back and start at square one. So make sure you, you follow this process when initially trying to implement wireless. Um, so that's, that's, uh, that's initially setting it up. Um, if you're trying to troubleshoot wireless, so keep in mind, first of all, that most wireless problems are related to the client, not the access point. So start with your, um, if you know you've got a good working network, start with your wireless client troubleshooting first. Um, first verify that the wireless card is enabled. You know, most laptops have a, a switch or a button, you know, whether it's a, a physical button or a, a software button that can disable the wireless card. So first make sure that's enabled. If it is enabled, move to a known good region of signal in the area. So if you know that you've got another PC that you were able to connect on wireless in this part of the building with great signal, go ahead and move the, the computer that cannot connect over that area to, to test further. Um, and then verify that the client can identify the wireless network or the SSID. You know, if you, if you can't see the SSID, um, well, there, there's a chance still that your wireless card is, is not enabled if you didn't check that first, but there could be another problem if it just can't see the network at all. And then if all this is, uh, is working out correctly, ensure they are using the correct wireless security information and standards. So if you've got it uh, set up with AES and you're using authentication, make sure that the, the PC is appropriately configured to, to meet those standards as well. So if you, uh, if you verify that the client works correctly, um, or maybe you've already isolated that there's a, a problem with the access point specifically and wireless will not work, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do with the wireless access point, access point is verify it's running the latest firmware version. Um, if it is, uh, test the wireless reception status at different points in the day. And then um, if, if, well, because for instance, um, wireless reception can be affected by, um, you know, anything in the 2.4 gigahertz range if you're using B or G. So any... Um, you know, a, a phone, a wireless phone getting used at the time or someone turning on a microwave might affect things. Um, you know, a, a nearby airport, they, they use a lot of things in the 2.4 gigahertz range, so that can affect, affect it. So, you know, test throughout the day and see what, um, what kind of signal levels you're getting. And then if, uh, if that looks good, verify the wireless channel configuration and test for a clean frequency. Um, so basically make sure that you're, you know, you're on 1, 6, or 11, you know, one of the un unimpaired channels, and make sure that there's not any other, uh, you know, networks or access points nearby that might be interfering with your channel. And then if all that's working, uh, consider the materials around and nearby the access point. So if you, you got it sitting right next to a concrete wall or next to some glass, you might want to move it to a more open area where it can propagate this, uh, the signal a little bit better. And that is it on Chapter 18. Questions on that?